Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create an interesting list animation. If you remember, in the last video, I showcased some of the templates from our add-on 140 PowerPoint list templates. One of the templates that I highlighted was this template, which shows five points with moving highlight. On a click, we show the first point like this. Then on a click, we move the attention to the second point and then to the third point, to the fourth point and the fifth point. This animation captured the attention of a lot of our people and they wanted to have a tutorial for that. This video shows you how to create this beautiful animation. And just as a bonus, I wanted to show you a variation of this animation that looks like this. On a click, I show the first point like this. Then on a click, I retain the attention on the first but introduce the second one like this. Then continue to reveal the third point, the fourth point and the fifth point. So let us jump right in and learn how to create this beautiful animation from scratch. In this, we will learn how to create four points with moving highlight. You can extend the idea to five points, six points, or you can have three points, two points. It's completely up to you. The base remains the same. The first step is to draw the design element that will help us to move the attention of the audience from one point to the next. We are going to use an object called square frame. Let us go to auto shapes gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up the tool called square frame here. Click on it, hold the shift button down and draw the frame like so. Next, let us go to shape outline and say no outline and give this a brighter color. Go to shape fill and choose orange color like so. Let us introduce this object onto the scene with a simple animation. So let us go to animations and have this enter the scene with a fade animation. And right after that, we want to have a number appear in the middle. So let us go to home, go to auto shapes gallery from basic shapes. Let us pick up the text box tool and write number one here. Let us choose a thicker font, maybe 2 sen empty condensed extra bold. Let us increase the size substantially and have this placed right in the center like so. And this needs to fade in right after the previous animation. So let us go to animations, say fade and this happens after previous. Then we need to have the associated explanation. So let us go to home, once again pick up the text box tool and write your text here. And let us increase the font size to 20 and let us have this placed right next to the number and then have animations wipe animation from left and this happens after previous. So far so simple. A box appears on a click, a number appears after that and then the associated explanation. Now we need to shift the viewer's attention from the first point to the second point by having this frame spin. Now let me see what happens if I apply a simple spin animation to this object. Let me select this object, go to add animation. Since we already have an existing animation on this object, we need to go to add animation option. Let us go to emphasis and say spin and let us have the spin halfway through and then let us see what happens. On a click we have the first animation happening. Then on a click you can see that the spin is not happening the way we want. The square frame is just spinning around number one. We don't want that. We want the square frame to spin from this point to this point so we can introduce the next point. So how do we do that? Let me make a duplicate of this by selecting this and pressing Ctrl D and let us keep this to the side like this. We don't want any animation to be associated with this right now. So I'm going to select all these animations and delete it. So this one doesn't have any animation whatsoever. Now we are going to do a small trick. We are going to shift the center point from this to this so that the spin happens the way we want. How do we do that? Let us select this shape, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place this duplicate to touch the bottom right corner of the previous one. Now, to make it easy for you to observe what happens, I'm going to give this a different color. Let us go to home and give this maybe this steel color. Now, I'm going to select both of these shapes. Press Ctrl G to group. Now, observe what happens when I apply a spin animation to this. Let us go to animations, go to add animation, go to spin and let us have this spin halfway through and observe this. Can you see from this position, this frame spun to this position. Observe that once again. Let me select this shape, go to play from and you can see that from here it shifted to this position. Now we don't really want this shown. So I'm going to select this shape, 
go to home go to shape fill and say no fill now this is a ghost shape and the only purpose of this ghost shape is to shift the center point from here to here so that is all this one does now we have got our second animation in place now i'm going to select this and place right above the previous shape now i'm going to have this appear on the scene right after the first animation so let us select this shape go to animations add animation and we are going to have this enter the scene with a simple appear and this appears right after the first animation let us have this happen after previous now when i go to slideshow on click this is what the audience sees they just see one shape here but in reality we have two shapes entering the scene one with a fade and the second one with appear only that the second one has the ghost shape attached to it now when i click again this is what happens the ghost shape now turns thereby revealing the second point isn't that interesting this is the trick behind the animation that you saw earlier now once we have animations done till this point most of our job is done let me show you how first let me reduce the duration of the spin animation to 0.5 seconds so that the animation can really happen fast and then i am going to select this object which is the ghost group and then i am going to hold the shift button down select the number and the associated text now hold the control button down as you click and drag the selection and place it in the bottom right corner now observe what happens here these sets of animation have been duplicated here now let me do that again hold the control button down as i click and drag this selection to the next level and then hold the control button down as i click and drag this to the next position excellent now i just need to change these numbers let me call this number 2 let us have this as number 3 and let us have this as number 4 now the work is pretty much done now when you go to animation pane you can see the whole story there is one small adjustment i want to make and that is there is this last spin that happens which we don't really want so i'm going to select that and press delete now we have got our animation done let me show you what happens when i go to slide show on a click we have the first animation in this we have the first square frame enter with a fade animation then we have the number enter with a fade animation and then this wipes in while this is happening we have secretly introduced the ghost group with appear animation now on a click we have that ghost group spin to reveal the second point with this fade and wipe animation while this is done we have secretly introduced the next ghost group so on a click that one spins like this and now we have secretly introduced the next ghost group with appear so when i click that one shows like this can you see here you can extend this to as many points as you want and it's a very simple thing to do now if you want the animation to be like the one that i showed you earlier where the attention shifts from one number to the next all you need to do is to make sure that after the spin the object disappears can you see here i added a simple disappear animation for the previous object as we move to the next one so that is how you create the interesting list animation in powerpoint but if you are a busy professional who doesn't have time to create all this then you can buy everything off the shelf with add on 140 powerpoint list templates from presentationprocess.com this bundle has a collection of 140 such interesting powerpoint list animations let me show you some examples from the product here we want to show two points take a look at how the points are introduced first you have the subtitle introduced like this then you introduce the details like this with an interesting animation once you finish the first group then click and present the second topic then click and present the details like this let us see another example here we want to show two notes stuck with transparent tape on a click i present the first point like this then on a click i present the second point like this another example here we show four important points with highlights on a click we show the first point like this then the highlight moves to the second point like this then to the third point like this observe that the highlight is shifting from one to the next on a click you can see that the focus is on this point and it is taken away from the previous point another example here we show triangle shaped number list on a click we show the first point like this the second one the third one and the fourth one like this another example is four sticky notes 
We have the first point shown like this, the second one, the third one and the fourth one. The final example is this where we show five key points. On a click we present the first point like this, the second one, third, fourth and fifth. There are 140 such interesting PowerPoint list animation templates available in our add-on 140 PowerPoint list templates collection. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can check out more details about this product and if you like it, you can make a one-time purchase and use these templates for a lifetime. So go ahead, click on the link in the description box below the video and check out this product. Finally, as always, if you want to join our 25 Creative Ideas free PowerPoint mini training, you can click on the link here. If you like this video, please give this video a like and share it with your friends and also hit the subscribe button to join our 200,000 other subscribers who are taking their PowerPoint skills to the next level by watching our PowerPoint videos on YouTube. To watch our latest YouTube video on PowerPoint, you can click on the link here. So go ahead, click on the link in the description box below the video and check out more details about our 140 PowerPoint list templates collection. I'll see you in the next video.